welcome back. Now I've got the G8 here. It's time for a few upgrades before winter hits. And one of those upgrades is unfortunate because while I was heading up for the third race between Clay and Dill, it didn't get to happen because Clay's transmission just bit the dust. My uh, window sudden fell and hit the window switch, causing the window to roll down. And it was like, it's pretty cold outside, so I uh, had to pull over and make an emergency repair on that. But I finally got the switch in. It took a while. I had to order a new switch. Of course, you know it's back ordered. So I got that. I'm going to do some other interior upgrades as well while I'm doing that. And before that, I'm actually going to do some exhaust upgrades because honestly, I'm tired of the Flowmaster flow effects. I've never been a fan of the perforated tube design. So I'm just going to go with something else. I'm going to try a few. And I got some special exhaust tips to uh, go on it. So I'm going to do that first. Maybe you will want to listen back. Now I'm really, really digging the tips. They're Joneses. And they look really good. I think I got that one over there a little bit off. But that's okay. It looks and sounds a lot better to me. Definitely looks 100% better with these exhaust tips. Now, I didn't get the slanted ones. The stocks are hard to find in people. An arm and a leg. These are fairly cheap. I think I got them both, and they're stainless for like 70 or 80 bucks. And the ones that were slanted, that would be cut off here to match, were a lot more expensive, so I can live with that. Alright, so the car isn't on now, and uh, it's because I don't want it to work. And this is actually what broke, so. And it's actually worse than that. Uh, had a bottle here and it actually fell and it hit that just right to where it knocked it in and it held it down to where the window kept going down so I had to pull over pull this off take it apart and uh, opened it up so that I could actually figure out exactly 100% how it worked and got it rigged up right now where all I gotta do is do that and that but I gotta get it right back just where it was in order to stop the window from moving and yeah these don't work now either because when i took it apart i may have broke it but that broke i think the rest of them are all right you can hear them they work but yeah that does not anymore and it was going out anyway i don't know what happened it was sticking you'd hit it and it's sticking you'd have to hit it back and it'd go back but completely broke so i'm gonna replace this and uh do something about all this trim, or at least try. All right, so the window switch, because I went with the black one. I didn't think that grayish color looked well. I tried to wrap this, and it's not doing very well at all. Um, I bought it off eBay, which is probably my problem. I bought a fairly cheap one, and it's not sticking well. It looks all right. It's, it's not. It's not perfect. There's a big flaw right there that I couldn't get out. But since I cracked that right there while uh, 
changing that out. I figured why not because it covers a crack. At least I can't see the crack, so maybe that'll wear out, heat up, stretch. I don't know. I'm going to try to do these. I don't think I'll be able to do these at all. exhaust setup I am digging the super 44s on this with those exhaust tips I'm enjoying it and the interior it has some flaws in that carbon fiber cheap wrap but I can live with that it looks better I think that that kind of gray silver just that I didn't think it went with it so find out something to do with the steering wheel and probably the door handles eventually for the interior I'm not gonna do much of the interior in the future probably just that I'd like to make this car a lot lighter but I'm not 100% sure how yet safely uh, I'm sure I have more upgrades in the future for this thing so be sure to keep watching there's actually two more things I need to do to this one before winter to prepare it for spring and traveling again Other than that, I'm almost good for this year. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, thanks for watching.